Shiomi, Koto Ward, Tokyo. The new home of the forest of innovation and tradition, Novare, and its five facilities. The former Shibusawa residence, designed by Shimizu Kisuke, the second generation head of Shimizu Corporation. Novare Hub, sharing information and building social bridges. Novare Lab, a technical research institute working toward innovating manufacturing. Novare Academy, an experimental training facility called the Monozukuri Shiseijuku. Novare Archives, the Shimizu Corporation Historical Archives. The concept of innovation is being actively discussed in various sectors today. We must consider what value we can create for our customers through our work. To achieve this, we need to foster talent with new ideas, methods, and under unprecedented conditions. Looking ahead to the next 10, 20, or even 50 to 100 years, we needed to establish a facility that focuses on nurturing people for the future. And this is how this project began. Utilizing unprecedented new technologies and methods was the challenge of building Novare. The work of highly experienced experts is essential for fabricating formwork panels. A great number of panels are needed for large-scale building projects. While relying on highly skilled workers had been the norm, Shimizu Corporation automated formwork panel fabrication using Building Information Modeling, or BIM. A 3D BIM model of the building plans are made on a computer, including important information about materials, such as lengths, widths, and types. The data from the BIM models were used to automatically generate the required formwork plans. Specialized software drafts formwork construction blueprints automatically converted from the BIM data. These blueprints are then used to program the automated processing machines to fabricate the formwork panels. Three D printers are being incorporated to create formwork panels and further improve efficiency. This wall column has complex curves measuring 20 meters in width and 4.5 meters in height. It was made using one of Japan's largest 3D printers developed by Shimizu Corporation. Unlike traditional wooden panels, this technology allows not only straight lines, but also intricate curves to be built freely. The printer moves along a rail, and the formwork material is accurately layered at 10 centimeters per second. Once the formwork is complete, concrete is poured directly into it. The formwork does not need to be removed afterwards and remains as the exterior wall. The shortage of skilled labor remains a pressing issue. Utilizing robots is one solution to this problem. This is a newly developed welding robot. Here, two robots are welding symmetrically and efficiently on a steel column.
The robot arms are equipped with laser sensors that detect the shape of the welding area. An AI calculates the procedure and the robots carry out the welding. They can execute tricky angled welds with the precision and skill normally required of numerous highly experienced workers. In order to protect buildings from fires, a new type of robot to spray fireproof material on walls has also been adopted. These robots significantly reduce the burden on workers. Traditional Japanese techniques have been incorporated in this structure. This ceiling features a hybrid roof structure made of wooden beams and steel frames. The wooden beams are arranged to support the steel roof from below, greatly decreasing the amount of steel needed. They have a complex shape with curved tops to prevent deformation from concentrated pressure at the center. This design provides solid support for the ceiling. Using traditional Japanese methods, these beams create very strong joints without the need for nails or metal fasteners. These joints have traditionally been handcrafted by Japanese carpenters. During this project, robots were used to craft these joints. This is a wood carving robot. It utilizes 3D models of joint data to intricately carve even the finest curves. A vast number of steel frames and wooden beams are needed for wood-steel hybrid roof structures. A new method has been introduced for installation procedures as well. It's normally necessary to either set up scaffolding at every work location or move it around as the work progresses. In this case, a method that allowed workers to stay in place by sliding the roof itself was used, also helping to shorten the construction period. Temporary platforms were set up in one part of the building where the wood-steel hybrid roof was assembled divided into three units. Once a section was completed, it was slid into position along the eaves using hydraulic jacks. Reducing the amount of temporary scaffolding needed significantly decreased the effort of setting up and moving it. This is how Novare was completed, utilizing cutting-edge construction technology in many ways.